Well, good afternoon, everyone. And it is afternoon. Last week I was recording in the morning. Today we're live, and we shouldn't be, because if you're watching this live, um, I think you need a psychiatric exam. It is maybe one of the most perfect days that we have had this year, and it, it's just gorgeous. So we're thankful for the weather. We could certainly use some rain, though. And we'll ask God for that as we begin today in prayer, as we always do. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Loving Lord Jesus, we thank you for this wonderful day that you have blessed us with. And as great as this day is, and how much we enjoy it, we ask you, Lord, to provide us with the rain that we need to be able to water our crops for our farmers and that they can be taken care of and that food will be plentiful for everyone. We ask you that you care for those who are sick and are suffering. Lord, that you bless them and be with them. We thank you for helping us to slowly but surely pull out of this pandemic. And we pray for a complete end to this illness in this virus around the world. Please, Lord, care for our parish. Care for us and help us to do your will always. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Okay, well, I don't think this will be very long today. People are already clapping. I can hear it. Uh, first of all, let's review last Thursday night. We had uh, our first outdoor movie night in uh, the north side of our property. And I would say it was a very well-received event. If you weren't here, I think you might have missed a nice night. Uh, we had, I think, somewhere between 110 to 130 people attend, probably more, because we had people in vehicles as well. Uh, the first movie, which was a children's movie, and a lot of kids who were out on the lawn sitting together and watching and just having a good time. We had plenty of food and snacks and refreshments. Um, and then at 8 o'clock, we had the more adult movie. And although we lost a lot of the younger families because it was bedtime for a lot of those young people, uh, we picked up a few adults. And I think we might have had... 30, 40, somewhere in there for that movie. But I will say that the weather at that point was just gorgeous. Uh, the sun was no longer beating on people. Uh, it was back, it was going down, but it was cloudy. There was a, just a nice little breeze, and it had cooled things off nicely. All in all, I think it was a really nice night. Uh, the movie quality, the picture quality, it was just superb, and the sound... And uh, if you wanted to watch from your car, you could listen to it through your radio. Uh, I just think it was a really nice night. I would have uh, very strong feelings that we would do this again next year, although this is a fairly significant expense that we really hadn't budgeted this year. We'll budget next year. I, I think it was a really nice night, and I would hope next year that more families attend and more individuals attend I think if you were here, you certainly, if you disagree, write your comments on the Facebook page. And But I, I think it was just a nice night. So thank you for those who attended. Thanks to all the volunteers, our Family uh, Youth and Youth Initiative Committee, which is, which is formerly the Education Committee, all of those people on that committee, just wonderful uh, support, wonderful organization. It was a, a great night, so thank you to everyone, those who helped, those who attended. Okay, tomorrow we start another phase of our parish directory photos, and uh, we've had a couple of spots open up. So we have two spots available on Friday now at 5.50, so 10 to 6, and then 8.20 in the evening. And on Saturday we have two spots available at one at 10.30 and one at 4 o'clock. So if you were thinking about it, please, uh, we need to fill all these spots. So those four spots are available. 
and our August uh, three days are almost filled. We have 14 spots available there. Uh, those are on Friday and Saturday, nothing on Thursday, but Friday and Saturday. So we need to get all of these filled and have nobody cancel on top of it. We've had cancellations, like last minute cancellations. So please, if you haven't, please get uh, scheduled in the next week or so and get this, uh, you know, actually for tomorrow and or Friday and Saturday, please just call and uh, say you'd like to take 550 on Friday or 820 on Friday or 1030 on Saturday or four o'clock on Saturday. And then you can also call and schedule in August as well. So we're getting there. We have a ways to go yet, but thanks to all who have signed up and are planning on getting their pictures taken here soon. And uh, if you haven't, the threat remains and you know what it is, so I won't go through it again. And uh, I probably will start knocking on doors. So uh, please, this is an important thing for our parish and for our community as well to make us more uh, connected with each other. So please consider it and get signed up as soon as you can. Uh, two weeks from yesterday, which is June 29th, we have our next Red Cross blood drive here from 12 to 5. We have five regular blood donation spots available and then three power red donation spots available. We'd like to fill them all and the Red Cross is dealing with a huge blood shortage right now. It is severe enough that if you are having elective surgery, your surgery may be postponed by your hospital or provider because there isn't enough blood right now to go around. So they're keeping it for emergency, emergency situations. So it is critical and if we, we need to fill all of these spots for the Red Cross. So five regular blood donation spots available, three power red spots available. You can either go to our website and scroll down to volunteer and then you'll see the Red Cross logo there, um, section to click on. Or you can just go to Red Cross and then type in our zip code and our blood donation place, Prince of Peace, and uh, the spots available will come up. So please, if you haven't, if you've done this in the past or haven't, uh, there's a desperate need right now. And we'd like to fill all those spots before that day arrives so that they can plan on having the right staff here to take care of all of us quickly and smoothly. So thank you again for donating the gift of life. I was going to bring these in, but if you recall last fall, we had these yard signs that said God for a change. And uh, I, was, I was able to get 10 more of those signs from Dr. Ed Beyer, who is the creator of those signs, lives in Appleton. Um, and he gave them to me. They, we didn't have to pay for them. So if you are interested in having one of those yard signs in your yard, please, they're um, right by the St. Joseph, the Holy Family icon out in the gathering area. They're kind of hidden behind a plant, but there's uh, just there's the, the signs and then the stands for them. I'd prefer to see them on major streets in Bellevue, but if they're in your yard and people are driving or walking past and are just kind of curious, I've seen, I'd say three or four in the area right now. We have one in our yard and we have gotten people to comment and they say, you know, what's the deal here? Um, the deal is that there's no deal. We're just saying, let's have God in our lives. And it seems like more and more God's being pushed out of our lives. Well, those signs are saying, let's have God in our lives for a change. And uh, if you're interested in one of those signs, no cost, just um, come and take and uh, but use them don't <laughs> don't take them and throw them out or something or burn them it's uh, I, I think they're really nice and I appreciate Dr. Ed for um, just donating them to us so please feel free to take whatever you'd like and uh, make sure you display them proudly on July 18th that weekend uh, the 17th and 18th, we are going to have a volunteer appreciation weekend here at Prince of Peace to honor all of 
those who serve this community in any way so if you volunteered in any way in the past year at prince of peace um, we will have a little badge for you to wear as you come in and uh, we will have a blessing after communion for all those who are volunteers and just to thank everyone and we'll have cookies after the 4 30 and 8 o'clock masses um, after the 10 o'clock mass we will have the model airplane air show on the 18th so we'll have food out there and for those who um, have volunteered and have their badge we will um, you'll be able to use that badge to you know get a free drink or hot dog or something like that so um, we just want to show our appreciation for all that you do and I think that's a good weekend because we'll have this model airplane show that we've had in the past but it'll be it's not going to be connected to the picnic this year just a Sunday right after mass after the 10 o'clock mass so it begins at 11:30, so you have a little time to socialize and uh, get situated hopefully it's a day just like today that would be wonderful uh, but hopefully you can make it for that and uh, make it for the weekend and show people show people in this parish how caring everyone is those who volunteer and for us to show you our appreciation for all that you do so hopefully you'll be able to attend that weekend finally um, I am going to be not here uh, beginning Friday this week for an entire week. I haven't done this since COVID hit and uh, I almost feel guilty about it. But uh, so this Friday I will be going on vacation and for the weekend and then all the way through next Friday. So next Wednesday there will be no weekly update. I tried to convince the ladies in the office to do it and nobody volunteered so we won't have an update next week um, it's not just me uh, most of the people in the office have had very little vacation in this last year as well so i think they have worked extremely hard to serve you and i hope that you can thank them for all that they do but uh yeah i uh i'm gonna just turn things off for a week here and uh not sure what we're gonna do but we maybe just hang hang around and do nothing but uh, enjoy each other's company and uh, just kind of recharge our batteries a little bit. So I appreciate so much the privilege to serve here, to serve all of you. Uh, I was meeting with uh, a group this morning and I can get almost emotional uh, when I talk about this parish and all of you. I, I would, I am, I'm just overwhelmed. Uh, at the privilege of serving all of you. So I appreciate that and I hope that uh, I'm sure things will be just fine in the next week. They'll probably be better than they have been in a long time. But uh, just that heads up. So you, if you want to watch next week or listen next week, uh, you can listen to a rerun if you want. But uh, nothing new next week. We'll talk again in two weeks. Okay, that's all I have. So this is a little briefer. But before we end, I hope that instead of just shutting this off, that you'll take the time to pray with us, to ask for the intercession of the Virgin Mary to continue to protect and guide us here in the right direction, and for the intercession of St. Michael the Archangel to protect us here from having Satan here and Satan's influence that uh, St. Michael will be able to ask God to keep Satan away from here and to help us to continue to do God's will without having the temptations of Satan. So let's pray. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. St. Michael the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the power of God, thrust into hell Satan and the other evil spirits who prowl about the world for the ruin of souls. 
Amen. May Almighty God bless you, bless your families, bless this community, bless us all today and always. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.